another episode of Beers, Bourbon, Whiskey Podcast, man. Everybody loves BBW. Uh, I got some guests in the building today, man. We're going to start off all the way down on the left. I got my man Square in the building. What's cracking? Got my man Classic Pothead. <laughs> and of course, man, I got my man Bo in the building. I say. Angry Principal. What's up? And of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205, man. Welcome to a new episode of BBW, man. Everybody loves BBW. Uh, we got Maker's Mark in the building today. We didn't have plenty of Maker's Mark on this show, <laughs> um, but <laughs> this is a, a different one. It's a uh, select, it's a, what it, was it, pri- was it private select or what was it? This is the limited release. Limited release 2020, 2020 yeah. yeah. Um, Angry Principal, since you was uh, on that edge already, you can go ahead and tell the people like what's so what's so special about this one. So what's different about this one is that it's a marriage of virgin toasted American oak and French oak staves. Okay. And so this is a limited release for 2020. Gotcha. At 110 proof. 110 proof. All right. So this is definitely uh definitely something for the proof hunter. I know he loves proofs. Got excited when you told me about. It. <laughs> <laughs> and with it, I, I actually went to find something else, and I saw it sitting there. I'm like, damn, I wonder what that is. So I asked the the lady who was behind the counter, and she didn't have a clue. So I was like, you know, what? I'm just go, I'm just go get it. So I, and I wanted to taste it that day. So first of all, I just want people to understand that I had this bottle for a week, and I've been looking at that motherfucker every day. <laughs> Like, I wanted to open it, but I'm like, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait because I want to be surprised, like, on the show. So, okay, that Christmas was. Dog, for real. Like, and, <laughs> and, and so, Angry Principal, you'll be proud of me, dog, because what I did, because I knew I couldn't open this one, I bought some Rare Breed instead. <laughs> so, so, I didn't really go down much in, uh, in, in proof. So, actually, I, I guess I went up. You went cause, up. Yeah, because yeah. that's what, 116, I believe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, so, yeah, so I, I had a good uh, good replacement. But uh, let's let's pop it open and see what it's talking about. I guess we'll pause yeah, for the court. We call anybody back this week. <laughs> yeah, Rare Breed. You see the bottle's empty. <laughs> right. Damn, that was, that was a good, a good one right there. That was a good one. Shit, that's a damn good one. <laughs> Hell yeah. Let's see what this is. It's going to taste all caramely and vanilla y. <laughs> what do y'all want that? Yeah, it's great. Uh, you got to drink yours out the red cup, I guess, because that's the <laughs> Oh, man. I'm excited. I'm just, I'm not really, like, I'm really excited because, like, I know it's about to be some vanilla situation going on. I love vanilla, so. So, off the, uh, off the nose, I'll say that it is, and I, and I read a lot of this talking about the vanilla notes, but it does definitely smell sweeter than any of the maker marks that I that I've had so far. Um, it does kind of taste like I don't not taste, but it kind of smells like it'll taste like uh, what was that the uh, 46? I think it was the barrel proof, I believe it was. Um, it smells like it may taste like that, a little bit sweet, but some spice at the end. So mm-hmm. I want to see, is that true for real? See, I haven't had the 2020, but I had the 2019. And uh, oh, yeah, man. got a lot of strong vanilla off that 2019. So yeah, you know, I'm not too surprised to hear. You know, that's the smell. That's that's kind of the the, mm-hmm. um, the nose, I should say. Right. Definitely some spice at the end, though. But I'm telling you, this this shit right here is delicious. I feel like I'm supposed to be baking something. <laughs> it's that much. It <laughs> is. It's, it's that, that much vanilla. That, yeah. That, <laughs> it is. Like I'm like I'm about to make a cake. Like you, when you start making that batter, that's what I'm smelling. Man. This shit is delicious, mm. though. Square, what you think, bro? It's good. It is it's good. That vanilla, like it, fresh off. Yeah, fresh off. Yeah. But the, the spice at the end, though, it's not. It's a nice hug for you. It, it, is it spicy or do it get like that, like uh, like almost like a cherry taste, maybe? Oh, it's definitely you know? cherry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because that's how the 2019 was. Yeah. I, got, I got spice at the end, though. The 2019 had a heavy cherry note to it. The cherry is right, right after. Mm-hmm. It like you so, smell the vanilla. So this is you this is similar to 2019. Then. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, I would say very similar. Yeah. Yes, yeah, my virgin palate. I didn't taste the cherry at all. You can get a little bit of char on this, mm-hmm. but it's well balanced. You mm-hmm. can't. There's nothing dominating it. It's on good. The nose is vanilla. On the taste is cherry. Mm-hmm. Then you get the char. You get. You feel like you're supposed to be uh, cake batter. <laughs> I, I really do smell cake batter. I, <laughs> Let me see that torch. <laughs> you said cake batter, dog. Yeah, <laughs> <serious. laughs> right. You know how you lick that spoon at the end? Because 
Can't get it all off? Yeah. It's like a sugar cookie, huh? Yeah, the kids <laughs> all trying to grab, grab hold of it. Yeah, that's exactly what it tastes like. Now, it's Square, you, uh, you kind of, you, you knew, obviously, this is your first time on the show. So, um, how like how familiar are, are you with, like, bourbons and whiskeys? I learned pretty much everything from you gentlemen. Oh, okay. <laughs> Shit, we take pride on. in that. <laughs> Bobby put me up on for a while. Yeah. So, then I just watch y'all and kind of. I drink what y'all drink. Okay. All right, so I, I guess it, since you kind of like more of a novice than even I am, which is, I'm excited about that. <laughs> what you, like, what you think? Is this something that you would do or is it possibly like, is it a lot? Because I feel like when I first started, I feel like for me, I think this would have been a lot. I ain't gonna lie to you. I think if I'd have had this early on, I'd probably be scared of it. Like I'm ready for it now because I've had other things. So I, I'm not sure, but you said you you good with it. Yeah, yeah. I've tried a lot of different ones, but it's usually like on trips, like when we mm-hmm. in gotcha. Like, True. Yeah. Okay. You so be scared? Like, that's what Uncle Nearest. Like that's my yeah, choice. Yeah. Still, like I haven't, and you I you be scared of it. And I'm not just, I'm, I'm not even saying that because it's black owned, but no. like I still don't, I don't have nothing on top of Uncle Nearest yet. Uh, well, let me see. I will take that back though. Can I go lie to you? I I like the 46 uh, barrel proof. Or barrel strength, whatever it's called. I like, I do like cast strength, or whatever it's called. I like that. But so I I'm still, see, I'm not a fan of the 46. It's just kind of bland to me. Even, like, the, mm. even the barrel proof, or, yeah, what I'm, was that I'm, one we had, right? Barrel proof, or I'm I think not, it was. I'm not, I'm not really a fan of the 46. No. Nah. Yeah. Nah, so you still. I was a fan of the 2019. Uh-huh. Then, yeah, limited release of that. Yeah, okay. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I'm not. For me, I, I've never been a huge Makers fan. You know, uh, I don't mind it. But it's never really going to be my first choice, you know. So I do have a question. Does anybody taste caramel on it? I, the vanilla overpowers It says it on the bottle, but I didn't taste any of the creamy caramel. I, yeah. I, don't, I don't taste any of that. So. I don't remember that from the 2019 I don't either. I smell it. I don't taste it. So, you know, it, it's nice that they put it on the bottle to try to influence what you taste, but I didn't, I didn't smell it at all. So just curious. Yeah, I definitely didn't smell it. I mean, you can't smell nothing except the vanilla. <laughs> That's the only thing you can, you can actually smell. Um, but, like, for me, I think that I think that as far as... All right, so let me first say this. The vanilla, obviously, I was going to like off rip. But I do think that it's not... The flavor don't really match the 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 smell, the nose. Like, it didn't really match for me. I, was, I, was, I wanted something a, a little bit more smooth. And a little less uh, spicy at the end. Oh, you want to drop some water in there? So, because it's a higher proof, we yeah. said we would try to see how it tastes with a little bit of water. We'll drop in. water in there. And see uh, if we get any different change in the taste. All right, let's try that. Yeah, just a cap full. And it only smell like caramel now because you mentioned it. <laughs> you know what? Because of the water. Is it the That's water or is it because you said it? Yeah, just yeah, open yeah. it up. Because, like, I swear you didn't smell that at first. Probably no, you didn't smell it at all. At all. Yeah, open it up a little bit. Now it smelled like a. And I was twist. trying to. I was trying to smell it from the beginning. Even yeah. when I read it, I was uh-huh. trying to smell. It. I didn't smell or you, taste. You caramel. definitely smell like it now. It yeah. Smells. You can. You smell like a Twix. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Am I wrong? Yeah. Twix. Yeah. That's what. It, that's what it smell like. It tastes like and the it left tastes, side of Twix. Yeah, it's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah. The left Twix. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So that the the yeah, water really did the water up. really did yeah. yeah. Hmm. <laughs> hey, it's, it it seems like what you say. it seems like it's some what more. You, you say open it up with the water. Again. You get a different taste. Gotcha. It's a different taste, though, right? Gotcha. And it, and that was that was like literally a cap full of water. Hey, no, you got half a cap. Yeah, because I took the other half. So oh, okay. We didn't put we didn't dilute it very much, but it definitely opened up a lot of different flavors in this. That's crazy. Yeah, just a little water. Yeah. I got, I got one thing to tell y'all at home though. I see Quincy cigar. Mm-hmm. That's why you turn your cigar when you light it, <laughs> okay? Yeah. Because it's a burn. Yeah, I burned it. You end up with a burn like that. I right? burned it on the side. I certainly you, did. You light it, <laughs> right? <laughs> like a burnt paper bag and shit. Right? A little pro tip there, fuck. You. Right, definitely. Because I did burn it, and I didn't realize <laughs> I'm talking and trying to light it I'm at the same time. Like, oh my god! Now this is <laughs> right. I killed it. This is an excellent cigar. I mean, a uh, cigar bourbon. Mm. Um, I'm smoking a tattoo. Okay, and it. It really does pair well with the with this cigar. Uh, not only the high proof at at the high proof and when I dilute it, it's still a mm-hmm. really really good mm-hmm. one. See this, see, I'm smoking the Emperor's Cut, black on, by the way. But um, yes, I think this particular Emperor's Cut is pretty strong, so I think it might overpower that. 
But if you had something a little lighter, yeah, it might go pretty well. Like, like that Connecticut, that New World might go I was, well. Yeah, I was just getting ready to say, so that's what I was smoking mm-hmm. in, New World, uh, Connecticut. And it definitely is. Uh, it offsets it nicely. I, and I think, like you said, it's because it's a lighter cigar. Mm-hmm. On the Emperor's Cut, I I can barely remember. Like, I, I think when I did have it, though, I had it with a, a Jameson or something like that. So mm-hmm. it was something that definitely wasn't as sweet as this, though. So a nice little offset with this uh, smoke uh, to go with this. Um, if I had to make a decision between, uh, oh, see, hold on a second. <laughs> My fault. That's me. Y'all can't even hear it. I hear Tacoma. <laughs> yeah, it's something on the fucking computer playing. It's fucking my audio. <laughs> All right, let me fix that. Man, that water did change it. Change it for Open it up quite okay. a bit. Huh? Yeah. It's All a right. nice camera, up, camera everywhere. All right, let's go back to that. And the hug is still there. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, yeah, so basically what I'm saying is that um, if I had to make a choice between the two, though, um, I actually do think that adding the water to it, for me, makes it better. Um, I, I think that the, I will say that the, the, the taste of it or the palate of it is a lot stronger, obviously, without the water. Mm-hmm. But I think with the water, it, it gives it a, a more mellow taste that I, I think that, you know, my palate kind of enjoys. I can do without caramel mm. so not putting the water in it, mm-hmm. putting the water in will not hurt me at all yeah, uh, I, got I don't have to have that taste or smell So, yeah. but it does open up a lot because now mm-hmm. everything about this is caramel forward yeah. since I put the water in it so, right um, yeah, and it was amazing. I really thought I was tripping. Like I, I felt like I was smelling it only because you said it. Right. <laughs> That's why I was like, you know, you said it. Now it's smelling. You like, nah, it is. And they're like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. What do you think, Square? Uh, between the two, like, what, what would you, what would you enjoy more, the one with the water or the water would probably um, be best for me. Yeah. So you say the first one? Yeah. Dang, so everybody said that, huh? Yeah. Mm. Uh, Classic Piehead, did you get one with, with the water? No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he, got the, he, he got the straight stiff shooter. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, if I had to choose, I'm definitely choosing uh, the one with the water. Um, obviously, like uh, Angry Principal always says, you know, you got to drink things how you like it, right? Yeah. Um, I would like to compare this to the 46. Mm-hmm. Because this, I think I like this better than the 46. See, and 46 is pretty up there for me. I like so. the 46 better. Yeah, I think I like yeah. it better. The the barrel proof or barrel strength or whatever it was. The, mm-hmm. Yeah. That one. <laughs> that's the that's the one I, I like that one. I actually like that one uh, better than either one of these, even with the water in it. I still like that one better. You know, so the 2019 mm-hmm. kind of reminded me of Russell's Reserve a little bit, right? Mm-hmm. And okay. I only say that because the, the palette, it has that, I don't know, it had that same kind of, cherry finish that that well the 2019 i'm talking about had the same yeah. type of cherry finish that you know russell reserve you know right. had for me you know so I don't, like i said I, i'm not a i'm not a huge makers fan but yeah i would definitely you know go out and buy another bottle of 2019 2020 yeah. yeah for sure so if you had to if you had to rank it what would you guys say i get it i give it out of out of five out black of five. power fists yeah i'd probably give it a solid three solid three yeah yeah Give it a nice three and a half because it does change with the water. It does because it comes with different flavors. Yeah, definitely. Between the smell, the water, it's interesting. Yeah, you know, very, it has some complexity to it that definitely. Uh, yeah, some don't. So I yeah. would probably put it between that three and a half to four range. And I'm and I'm super curious now, like how many how many of these drinks would have been changed with a, a little dab of water? A lot of them. A lot of them probably yeah, because of they're higher yeah. proof. Yeah. You know, most times we're not this high proof. So yeah. because we're higher proof, that was the reason we wanted to uh, try the water. And it, it, it helped. It, de- it, yeah, it definitely does. It definitely gave us a different perspective yeah. of what we were drinking. So, like, if you didn't put water in, like, let's say, the Joe Lewis, for mm-hmm. example. Yeah. Like, that would have been, oh, like, it wouldn't have been no taste there at all, right? Because right? the Joe Lewis wasn't really it was, it wasn't like heavy and harsh like that. anyway. You know yeah. what I mean? I think it was only, like, 88 proof or something like that. Yeah, you know? or if we'd had added water to... Uh... <laughs> Caribou Cross it has just been Man, water on top of water. It's been energy water. <laughs> and the tea with no sugar. Diet, <laughs> Diet bourbon. Diet bourbon. <laughs> on that note, man, I do, uh, I do definitely enjoy the uh, the second way better uh, with the the little delusion of water there. Um, out of out of five though, I think I'll give it probably a good 
I'll give it a good three. Um, my 46 is probably going to get that strong three and a half or maybe four. Uh, I do like the flavors better uh, in the 46. Uh, even though I am a vanilla fan, uh, for me, this might be... Maybe it's too much. Like, I don't know. Or it's just not offset with the with the right hug for me. So, um, for me, I like the 46 better. This is still a great buy, though. Um, I, I don't remember the price point because I ended up buying, like, a couple things at the same time. So, <laughs> I don't remember the price point. I want to say it's, like, mid-30s to, like, low, low, low 40s, 40s, something like something that. Like that yeah. Yeah. So, it's not it's not really expensive. Uh, it's definitely, uh, if, you, if you're interested in Maker's Mark, it's, it's definitely not a step off. Like, you're not going to lose a step with that. Mm -hmm. um, try the 46 if you haven't tried that, just to give it a kind of a comparison because I think that's the most comparable. Um, but outside of that, I think that's it. It's time to go around and finish this drink and get on to the next episode. <laughs> I want to thank everybody, right? Everybody who checked us out today, man. Make sure that you are watching. You hit that uh, what's the button? Subscribe, subscribe button, button. Yeah, so that you get alerted every time we go live. <laughs> that hug is hitting, boy. <laughs> right? It's just hitting already, dog. Hit that, uh, that that button. Right? Yeah. Hit that button. That, that there the button. Finger, the one with the finger. The one with the finger. Right. <laughs> Till the next time, man. We out of here, man. This is the Beers, Bourbon, Whiskey Podcast, man. Everybody loves BBW. I got my man Square in the building. Yes, sir. Got my man Classic Pothead in the building. That shit was strong but smooth. <laughs> <laughs> Angry principal holding uh, it down. Drink yeah. what you like, how you like. My man uh, Bo in the building. I say. And, of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205, man. Peace out, y'all.